The Toyota Camry Hybrid is likely to be remembered as one of those odd in-between cars that had two tires in the realm of the combustion engine and the other two in the all-electric-powered future. It's almost certain to be a transitional vehicle in another way, as well, as one of the last traditional hybrid-powered cars Toyota produced before deciding to lean in fully to the intrinsic sportiness of full electrification. In the present day, Toyota is making a bold attempt at sprucing up its midsize hybrid sedan with the addition of the 2023 Toyota Camry SE Hybrid Nightshade Edition. It's sprayed in a beautiful shade of dark blue, offset by bronze TRD wheels and black exterior trim accents. The Camry SE model is meant to be a smidge sportier than the mainstream Elite trim, thanks to the addition of sport-tuned shock absorbers and springs and front strut tower bracing, and it even comes with paddle shifters affixed to the steering wheel. Given its upgrades, we decided to find out if the Camry SE Hybrid Nightshade is as fun as it is fuel-efficient by putting it through our testing regimen, the Camry Hybrid's 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and electric motor work together to develop a total system output of 208 horsepower, slightly more horses than the 2.5-liter gas-powered Camry's 203 horsepower. The Camry SE Hybrid beat its gasoline-only counterpart in our 0 to 60 mph test by one-tenth of a second with a 7.4-second run, likely due to the extra low-end torque shove provided by the hybrid's electric motor. The gasoline-only model develops its peak power at 6,600 rpm and peak torque at 5,000 rpm. Although the paddle shifters are a nice piece of window dressing, they proved all but pointless during testing and in real-world driving. Given that a CVT sends power to the Camry Hybrid's front wheels, selecting its simulated gears doesn't do much to deliver any sort of sporty experience. In addition, stepping into the throttle means being forced to endure the noisy engine drone that CVT-equipped cars are notorious for. We liked its brake pedal feel, however, as it did a good job of blending mechanical and regenerative braking while slowing the car down from 60 mph to zero in a solid 121 feet. During our at-the-limit evaluation, we noted a whiff of understeer, significant tire howling, and lifeless steering from the car as we lapped our compact circuit, though our test drivers found the Camry Hybrid Nightshade did a good job of maintaining its power output, allowing it to breeze through the middle of our figure 8 test circuit, 26.6 seconds at 0.65 g average, rather quickly for a car in this segment. Overall, although we found the Camry Hybrid's chassis balance and tire grip to be acceptable during our testing, lending some credibility to its sporting pretensions, ultimately we found it lacking in overall driver engagement. Our mixed feelings were compounded during a weekend trip from LA to San Diego and back. Although its sport-tuned suspension yielded some benefits at the test track, the ride quality was only moderately comfortable on the freeway. At times the Camry Hybrid slammed and banged its way over misaligned joints in the pavement and occasionally became unsettled at freeway speeds over poor road surfaces. Road noise proved intrusive, and the wind seemed to rattle the door panels. We predictably saw great fuel economy, with well above 40 miles per gallon indicated, but its lack of refinement would have us thinking twice before recommending a Camry AC Hybrid, Nightshade or no, to a prospective buyer in need of a daily driver. Camry's 8th generation model arrived for the 2018 model year, and its interior is already showing its age. Hard plastics were everywhere in our test car, save for some soft touch surfaces in the places where hands, elbows, and arms typically rest, and its small 7.0 inch infotainment display looked dated. Fortunately, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard and the six-speaker setup that comes as part of the SE trim level is adequate for a basic arrangement. We also found some fault in the Camry seats, which have a short bottom cushion that caused our posteriors to get sore after about two hours behind the wheel. Despite its range of more than 600 miles, folks will probably need to stop frequently to stretch out. The one thing the Camry's interior does get right is its wealth of storage cubbies and cup holders for phones, beverages, and other gear. There are a couple areas where the Camry Hybrid truly excels. The first is its impressive fuel economy, which the EPA rates at 4447 mpg city slash highway. We had no problem attaining average fuel economy in the low 40 miles per gallon territory when driving around town or on the highway but that figure quickly dropped into the mid to upper 30s when we started to put our foot down a bit more. Still, 35 plus mpg after some spirited driving is nothing to scoff at. 
A strong suite of active safety equipment also contributes to the Camry Hybrid's value. Every 2023 model, regardless of trim, comes equipped with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus. This bundle incorporates automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and intersection support, road sign monitoring, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and automatic high beams. Our car also had the available blind spot monitoring with cross traffic alert, which Toyota bundles with the convenience package as a $900 option. Strangely, the Camry AC Hybrid Nightshade can't be equipped with a 360 degree camera viewer parking sensors which feels like a bit of a miss for a car that has most other modern safety tech all told, the 2023 Camry AC Hybrid Nightshade Edition starts at $31,710, and our test car stickered at a still modest $33,209. That's competitive with the 2023 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid and should align with how we anticipate Honda will price the redesigned Accord Hybrid. If fuel economy and a little extra style are the goal, the Camry Nightshade isn't a bad way to go, although the Camry AC Hybrid Nightshade's performance doesn't quite measure up to its extroverted styling, in the end we appreciate Toyota's attempt to glam up its hybrid midsize sedan. The Camry's trajectory has been trending in a positive direction since the current model was introduced, so quirky variants like this bode well for its future. Besides, those looking for a truly sporty Camry can still purchase the racy TRD model.